Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It is time for us uh, to continue this beautiful game and we do have uh, the option for two different uh, missions. One would give us an assassin and one would give us a combat medic and I think we're going for Anna Sophia because I want to play with the combat medic. We're assigning our agents and we're having the same agents as always with the same equipment, so let's give it a go. Broke this woman into Mr. Locke's strange quest for an electric tower. Keep an eye out for Strum or his people, too. Steady as she goes. Good, we certainly have not yet played this mission, so all, of, all of this is new. Observers and sharpshooters, the court center can detect and eliminate even the stealthiest operatives with terrifying. Need a second. Can you guys please not group together? Thank you. Eddie moves up. Oh, these guys are wet over there. That is fantastic. What's that? Hey, that over there. Sure this is all a big uh oh. Yet in yes indeed it is a huge misunderstanding, guys. I don't even know what happened. Good, getting them down. Oh, that is a good first hit. Fifteen percent. Oh my lord, that is almost non-existing chances to hit. Down to one hit point. 39 to 56 points of damage. And uh, this guy is at like what? How can I see their hit points without uh, deduction? Okay, so that's an almost uh, kill. <clears throat> Followed up by an actual kill. And then I think we're just going to go into evasion mode. <clears throat> And full cover. That is much better. Unfortunately, two sixty five uh, percent chances have missed. What a shame. Good, the courts melee <clears throat> attackers are coming in and there's another sniper up here. Careful, careful, Saiken. Uh, let me correct that. Two snipers. So as always, plenty of enemies and there is another one over there. Moves to here, gets evasion, triple hits with uh, blind, that's definitely worth it.
Hmm. Almost uh, thinking we're just going to Overwatch again. Two seventy percent shots missed. Rough man. Let's Overwatch. I don't want to expose myself too much, so what we're going to do is we're going over here. No Evasion, <clears throat> so that <clears throat> that agent comes in. Alright, this evasion is gone. Miss, and they double. <laughs> That's the first hit that Eddie has uh, scored. Unbelievable. Hit into evade, and they are coming definitely closer. Good, I think we need to uh, drop a couple of ultimates, elsewise uh, this here is not going to work out. Specifically since Eddie is just completely out of ammunition. Can't move, uh, which means one, two, three, and four. Good, flush them out nicely. Eddie, however, is in trouble. There is no denying that. Getting that melee uh, fighter and afterwards Let's mix things up a little, shall we? putting a decoy in, making ourselves invisible. Um, she's already blinded, but. I need the extra movement to get over to here, which then comes with another hit. Can't knock her into our guy. Eddie is already in enough uh, problems. What we can do though is we can move uh, to uh, we can move her to here or um, just normally attack her. We do have Blade Storm, so that'll be a kill. Not a perfect turn, but okay. We're behind cover, which is good. There is the Blade Storm kill. They are going for the decoy. They killed the decoy. Time to 
Okay, we potentially wouldn't have gotten any better hit than that. That was already very, very good. Not sure why we are having that bad of a hit chance. Half cover. Marked, flanked. Okay, so that's a 90% chance. Half cover in smoke. I see. Okay, smoke is minus 25%. Eddie did a good job, overall very well done. One down. Unfortunately a miss, but generally not too bad. I think we can still do this. Nice little hit. Okay. There's the killer instinct. How many AP? We still have two because our Blade Storm triggered one. That's one hit. More killer instinct. And push kick. takes the guy out. <clears throat> Down, boy. Very good. Super good turn. With the exception of that one miss that we had. Uh, we're taking a lot of damage in return. Ouch. Latif just gets them down. One enemy remaining and we are going to completely go to town with them. You took your eye off the prize. Moves up. Cool. Well, it could have been a bit cleaner uh, if we wouldn't have messed up our initial, uh, the initial stage again. Okay, but we got all of the guys down <clears throat> in the first iteration, so that wasn't too bad. Of course, there are explosives up here, which we could have used in order to make our job so much easier. So the idea was to climb up and just explode that sniper nest. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. I got you. What we don't have is additional resources. So we're down one pair of bandages. Let's get on with it. Oh, look at that. Second wind, um, refill the agent signature ability. Uh, did that do that? No. 
I picked it unfortunately up for Onslaught. Uh, okay, well, learn something for the next time. The one person that has not used their signature ability oh. and we're grabbing a second wind with them. I figured it was one of those uh, cards again, but I was wrong. Come on, a little bit closer. Lights out. You gonna get this thing started or what? That got three and uh, two of them out in just one go. I think that was a successful start. Could have been better, but it was quite successful. Moving up, nice little hit. Into a hit. I charge extra for this. And uh, listen, we're moving up. Let's use the Overwatch. In a bit wider range, just to make sure that this guy definitely gets somewhere? goes down. Enemies remaining three. All right. Overwatch. Two more enemies on that other side. Nice little extra overwatch and we do have three AP. Unfortunately for us... Mm. Tempting. Tempting to go all in, but we're go we would take damage, and I don't want that. So instead, we're take just this. going to put evasion on us and wait for it. Good, Latif here has two bullets which I think is enough to just get her down double shot works like a charm Get her down. Fantastic. Yeah. 
Why is that just one shot? Ah, okay, wrong ability. My bad. Anyways, maybe it was the right ability after all. Happy accident. Because that should crush you and knocks you down. Fantastic. Good, they can't do anything. Eddie has two bullets. Best course of action. Moves into cover. Even if it is an explosive cover. Hits both of them. One less to worry about. And Ingrid cleans That's up. Cool. Listen, for uh, such a strange opening, that was actually not too bad. I mean, we ramboed our way right through them. We didn't even take damage. Let's split up. Cool. Got some extra supplies. I wonder if there's anything outside here. Looks like a good place to hide uh, stuff, but the developers haven't been that nasty, or have they? Cool environment, but unfortunately nothing for us to find. A lot of lore. Oh, cool! Look at that bandages. And I didn't even steal it. You must be the one Locke sent us after. Ah, thank the divine knight. I'm Anna Sophia. I'm a combat medic. I've been looking for you. Stand by. Good, Sophia does have the same nice shock mine uh, that Eddie has. I actually like them a lot. I have to wonder why these people want to death so badly. Tyrants don't like it when people fight back. Wait for me. Of course, Eddie is just standing outside, and that's the reason why the mission doesn't end. Okay, cool. I cannot wait to meet the last surviving lamp lighter. I'm ready to join the fight. Cool. Recruit An uh, Ana Sofia Rodriguez. Mwah. The question is, whom are we going to uh, take out? Eight skill points. That's good. I like it. And we got the Herald. Um, buff ability. Grants inspire to all teammates. Uh, mm, refunds plus one uh, ability. What is inspired? Well, that's a buff ability, so we're going to give it to the Cleric. Upgraded uh, with ink. How, many, how much ink do we even have? Okay, we don't know that yet. I don't want to use any of our resources. No, we do have zero ink at the moment. We got a lot of supplies. That's good. Howdy, Locke. Got someone here who's real keen to meet you. What I haven't really fully understood yet is just the pacing or the timing at the moment i'm not even sure if the enemies are making a lot of progress or not it is an honor to speak to the last of the lamp lighters lady i am in your debt but we've never even met why risk your life for me because i need your help 
You know the danger the Banished Court poses. You've seen it with your own eyes. But it's even worse than you know. They've found the tower. Then... Then we have lost. Then the world is doomed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that about the end of the world? You didn't know? M Mr. Log, are your associates not lamplighters as well? These three are not true lamplighters. They are mercenaries in my employ. So the undrawn hand did respond to them. They are a last resort in a desperate hour. Our only chance left to keep the tower and what lies within it out of the court's hands. I'm not interested in your personal affairs. I'm just here because the money's good. But I think we deserve to know what you mean by the world is doomed. We do live on it after all. Just tell them, Locke. They'll probably believe you. They did see Nicastro do some freaky stuff in Marseille. Here is the truth then. Do with it what you will. I told you there's an energy source at the top of the tower. I told you the source is unstable, and the court cannot harness it without careful preparation. This source has many names. The Magdalites call it the Divine Light. The name I hear most often is the Bright Storm, or simply magic. The Undrawn Hand, Lady Nicastro, your new teammate here. They all channel the Bright Storm. But if a person stood at the top of the tower, they could control the Bright Storm. With it, control reality itself. I see that look, but it's true. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather not live in a reality tailor-made to Nicastro, Marteau, or Strum's liking. Well, yes, Mr. Locke was right, Captain. I don't believe you. I don't expect you to believe me. I expect you to believe in my money. Is that acceptable? For what you're paying, you don't have to twist my arm. Then, let us proceed to the next job. With four agents, we can move on two fronts. Three of you will run another extraction. This time, the target is someone who can help me here on the island to prepare you for missions. While that is underway, the fourth of you will undertake a different kind of operation. You will pursue a lead on a lost artifact known as a keystone. Okay. I already regret asking, but a keystone is... A keystone is a piece left behind when the tower was uprooted from the earth 10,000 years ago. Uprooted? How do you uproot a tower? That is a subject of much debate. But we now know it exists in a space between space, just beyond humanity's reach. There is only one way to enter it. Gather four keystones and form them in the shape of a door. But all that will come later. Focus on this first keystone. It is time to decide who belongs on what job. Wow, okay, so that's not bad. With four agents, it's now possible to fight the Banished Court on multiple fronts. Uh, this week, three agents run another mission. Force will do a search and to destroy. So we got a new agent here. Uh, for starters, we got uh, Anna Sophia here. Let's take a look at her skills. She has the passive ability Healer. And Sophia restores plus 50% more hit points when healing teammates with an ability or a consumable. Stabilize is upgraded to Rekindle, which heals additional hit points on teammates in mortal danger. So she's really good at that. Also, she has the signature ability Restore. Anna Sophia channels her powers to completely heal all teammates within a large radius. Wow, that is a great ability. I like it. And her ability here is uh, Bless, um, which is a buff ability. Uh, inspired status and removes debuffs from uh, teammates in a large radius. I think Inspired is just more movement, I guess. Uh, then she does have three different... Um, path let's go with her ultimate ability so it's inspired into motivate which is above um, causes the teammate to gain one ability point yep that i remember that and this is as much as i remember and now we've reached the maximum of uh, how far i played into the game she can uh, push ability points around uh, action points around which is absolutely phenomenal so teammate uh, gains an action point Signature ability, Anna Sophia channels her powers to completely heal all teammates, um, gains an additional charge. Yep, that is great. Um, 
motivate two and sophia encourages two teammates to gain one ap this is where it spirals out of control <laughs> Then we got a passive ability upon killing an enemy. Enemy uh, Anna Sophia's cooldowns are reduced by one, giving her the option to motivate again. Passive ability Anna Sophia gains one AP whenever she uses an ability or consumable to heal a teammate. So essentially, healing is for free. And down here, restore three. Um, not only can she heal twice no wait larger radius uh, enemy uh, you gain one signature charge back what is this here um, aoe 8 aoe 6 okay so aoe 6 6 8 then 6 here you get plus one um, extra signature ability which is a cool addition and here, here it's all teammates. And teammates, yeah, it's just increased um, AOE. Okay, not sure if I like that too much. It's not bad, but uh, I think uh, this ability here is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so diving that deep into the tree is a no regret on the left hand side we do have a um, 35 percent chance to reduce um, her ability cooldown by one well it's not bad then here we do have uh, applies a buff ability applies inspired and removes debuffs from a teammate in a larger radius also resets the cooldown of affected teammates uh, that is nice that's actually quite good so that's blast two and sophia's attacks 50 percent chance to reduce ability cooldown by one okay so this is your all about ability cooldown reduction on the other side 25 percent to shred five armor i don't know we haven't seen armor yet then better max stress 25 percent to cause bleed damage okay So I think just by reading through it, best ability is Motivate, uh, Restore seems great, uh, the free healing isn't bad, and then I think the cooldown manipulation, that's how I would build her, uh, just from uh, seeing what I see. I want to play with the healer, so we're going to go directly into that, we're going directly into that. I want to go directly into Motivate too, because I personally think that is a fantastic ability, and then it's more a question of do we want to have a 35% chance to reduce her ability cooldowns by one. Uh, might as well do that in order to get to Blessed. Uh, because Blessed 2 is a greater... No, same AoE. Also resets the cooldowns. Okay, so that would reset the cooldowns of everyone. Hmm. Would be good if they just write down the cooldowns on the abilities themselves alternatively hot pursuit looks good as well hmm I think we're going uh, with uh, Anna Sophie I like the chance to reduce ability cooldowns and I definitely like bless so yeah interesting setup in terms of push kick versus melee overwatch i think we're going with push kick so far i haven't seen a situation where we needed to attack twice in melee but maybe next in next combat that is uh, exactly going to happen uh, that blade storm triggers twice but push kick, I can see uh, that uh, armor shredding and a further knockdown might not be too bad. Um, I think we're okay for now. Sophia is the healer, so that's good. 
And I think Eddie <clears throat> sticks, uh, uh, keeps his healing. Might want to give her a ranged opportunity because sometimes Ingrid just doesn't have a ranged um, alternative. But yeah, looks good. I mean, skills are looking fine. Uh, we have uh, Ingrid is definitely a good character uh, with that uh, with that reset ability. Um, and now we do have Anna Sophie, which can help everybody else to just get more um, ability points, uh, action points. So that could be a good one. And Eddie will be our damage dealer. So I think that's a solid team. I don't know if we're going to keep Eddie. I still have problems with his ammunition. Um, so unless you can massively increase his crit chance where he doesn't run out of ammo, uh, his ammunition is actually the biggest problem. Yeah. Passive ability, uh, Eddie gains one ammo and is taking 20% crit chance. Yeah, well, that is not bad. <clears throat> is there any other crit chance? Passive ability, kills again, marks enemies, reset cooldowns for light them up. Okay, I see how it goes. So he's lighting them up, then they are out of cover, then he shoots uh, uh, them, and uh, next round he can light them up again. Well, the only problem with that that I am seeing is that he's not having enough crit chance. Where do I see the crit chance? Mid range. Yeah, a little bit more info would be great, guys. Yeah, we're, yeah okay, we're not seeing uh, crit chance. He is good um, overall. It's just that he's not having enough of an impact yet. He's running out of uh, ammunition, but okay, whatever. That um, we can figure out in the next episode. I think I'm going to run Eddie plus Sophia plus um, our front line, and um, good old uh, Latif will be the one uh, that is going to do the solo mission. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy Lamplighters League, now is a great time to. Uh, do me a small favor and leave a like uh, down below. I promise you it's a 100% hit chance if you're trying to snipe that like button. Take care and have a good one.